What's up guys? I Apple Tuber here and today I'm going to show you guys a very interesting video in which I'll show you guys how to get all iPhone 6s features on any iPhone. So on my device as you can see right now it's an iPhone 6 and now let's get on to the video itself and I'll show you guys how to actually get those tweaks. So what I want you guys to do first is to get the 3D touch. So it's very important as you can see the first most important thing on iPhone 6s or 6s plus was a 3D touch and the haptic feedback. So I want you guys to first of all add this repo which will be in the description too which is http dot apt dot i m o k h l e a s l e s dot com slash so that will be in the description no worries about that once you get this so how you do it click on edit click on add enter the source there add source then i want you guys to go ahead and search for reveal menu so as you can see reveal menu original I already have it so what with that does when you get it i want you guys to head on to the settings here as you can see reveal menu here and have them all enabled. So enable switch editor, enable swipe up, enable haptic vibration. And let me show you guys what I mean. So let's say we want to 3D touch on the camera, hold like this, and as you can see right now, we have the 3D touch with the haptic feedback and with the slide up, if you want to just slide up, it will allow you to delete or move the application where you want very simple and very easily. So that was it with the first one. Next is going to be untethered Hey Siri. So that doesn't have any sources directly search in the Cydia. So let me show you guys what I mean. So let's get to Hey Siri and show you guys. So if you remember with Hey Siri was also on something on the iPhone 6s which would only allow you to activate it if you have the iPhone 6s. So with this tweak it will allow you to always have it activated without even needing to be in charge. So let me get it activated and show you guys. Hey Siri. As you can see right now it's activated on my device and it's asking me the questions. So now that was it with the second tweak. Super easy. The next tweak which is very important on the iPhone 6s Plus was the live wall enabler. So with live one wall enabler, there's two things which I want you guys to ask. So let me show you in the sources. So it's going to be one live wall enabler, which is a live wallpaper. And the next one is going to be is going to be Apple live wall wallpapers for iPhone 6. So remember, this is the only tweak which only works on iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So this does not work on iPhone 5s or any, but it works on iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So what we want to do is let's say we want to get a live wallpaper. So let me go to my settings, to my wallpapers. And as you can see, once you have that tweak, it will allow you with a new uh, live wallpaper here, which you don't have normally on your iPhone 6. And as you can see right now, here's all the options. So let's say we want to get this one. So let's click on it. Let's set it for our lock screen. Now, once it's set, let's go ahead and lock our device. Unlock it and as you can see right now is the tweak, but that's not the important one. This is the important one. You hold it it will actually move just like a live wallpaper on the iPhone 6 or the 6s or the 6s plus super easy very nice it's a really good thing to have the next week which is going to be also a very important one which was on the iPhone 6s plus which many people liked was the swipe selection pro so with swipe selection pro it will allow you to move your keyboard anywhere that you want for simple and very easily just like let's say we have a text here hold your finger on this and it will allow you to move your text or your cursor whenever wherever you wanted to place on the text so let me go ahead and zoom a bit more and show you guys what i mean so here's the text once you hold your hand like this and you move it as you can see right now it will move and place it wherever you want and wherever you like super easy very nice must have next week is going to be to allow you to have live photos so it's a live photo enabler with that let's go and show you guys let's go to our camera and as you can see, so let's say we want to get a photo, but we have the live photo enabler already turned on. So let's say we're taking a photo, let's say we're just moving our hand like this. And let's say we want to take a picture like this. So let's get a snap like that. Then let's get to the photos. Let me actually go ahead and open my photos. And once you have this photo, this is just a normal photo. But when you hold your hand like this, it will actually, as you can see, it's right now the photo is moving. Really nice, really, really amazing tweak. And it's absolutely free so it's a really good thing to have and i really recommend it for everyone the last week which was again in the reveal menu so as i showed you guys the reveal menu let me go ahead and show you guys once again the settings for the reveal menu as you can see here it is for reveal menu so once you have this all set up and also for swipe selection also remember to have it enabled like this so let's see we want to get to get a peek, peek in a photos or something so let's go to safari and show you guys like a, t uh, a google link or something so let's search for iOS for example so with that reveal menu it will actually allow you to peek into a 
photo peek into any link. So once you hold your hand like that, as you can see right now, it's allowing me to peek and see what's this website or this Wikipedia. And it's super easy. Once you leave your hand, it will go. And once you place it up like this, it will stay. Super easy, very nice, a really good thing to have. It's one thing which many people liked on the iPhone 6s plus and the 6s. So that was it with today's video. Remember guys, all these tweaks are free. Just need to add that report for some of them. So that's it with today guys. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm sure that you guys will enjoy all these new tweaks on your device and have your device just like a 6S Plus without needing to even pay more to just get a 6S Plus. And that was it with today. Hope that you guys have enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. See you guys very soon. I AppleTuber here, signing off.